morning guys i'm excited because today's journaling prompts are all about like reflection and self-growth and self-awareness so i am going to show you all how to make my coffee first because i get a lot of questions on how i actually make it and usually i just make it as i'm talking so if you're watching on social media we're gonna make coffee real quick and then head over to the youtube and you can watch the actual journaling prompts and if you're on youtube hi we're here all together so this will be the quick part and then we'll get into journaling so I've got two main amount of focus and just like good brain boosting nutrition, I guess. So I am taking this, which I will have linked. Um, it's just a milk frother, pretty simple. Two ounces of cold water. I'm putting in half a pack of my focus coffee. Now this stuff I really like because it has nootropics in it. So not only does it give you a lot of energy because at the end of the day, it is coffee, but it gives you like an, ins I got mine on Amazon, I think for like 10 bucks. You're going to froth your coffee until it about doubles to triples in size. And you can see, I think the lighting is really, really bad this time of day, but that's okay. Yeah, so it about triples. It's very frothy. And then from there, I have two ounces of butter pecan syrup. You can use any syrup you want. Again, I will link these below. I just have my jigger that I use. Um, I have a whole like coffee bar link that I will drop below so y'all can see that. But I really, really, really enjoy the Tarani coffee syrups. I just think they're very smooth and they mix kind of with everything. And then in a separate cup, I filled halfway with ice. I filled, covered the ice with milk. Ice and milk, and I'm just gonna mix my, or dump my coffee mixture on top. I have a really good ice latte. I use these for breakfast as a meal replacement. Um, I'm down 33-ish pounds with this, so I really, really like it. And as always, I have samples. If you want one, swipe up, comment, sample, and I'll send you a five-day trial pack. Okay, so I switched settings a little bit. I did not, I hate the lighting over there, but it just is easier to make my coffee. So I've got my coffee that I'm drinking. Um, and like I said, today is basically reflection. So kind of like a monthly assessment. I have a sheet that I have printed off. And by the way, this is um, December's freebie. So if you would like this, just reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook. I'll send it to you for free. You can print it off. Or you can just go through on a piece of paper and you can write out your own. So basically what you're doing is you're literally self-evaluating yourself for last month. So first thing you want to do, let me see. I don't know if I can flip this. Well, it is what it is. First thing you want to do is write down the different hats that you wear. So for me, I wrote down or different areas in your life. Maybe for me, I wrote down spiritual growth, business, personal development, self-care, marriage, home, mom, friend, teacher, nutrition, leader, and customer service. Because those are all the different hats that I wear in my business, in my home, in my church, all the respective areas of my life, basically. Um, then you'll rate yourself from one to 10. One being I did a really poor job at that this, this month, or again, last month, so technically November. And 10 being I did a really amazing job. Be honest with yourself. You don't have to show this to anybody. So if you're like, man, I did a really crappy job in this area, be honest. Reflect that. That way you can do better. Once you rate yourself, you're going to write, I can improve by. And all you're going to do is write one thing in each area that you can focus on this month. So for example, spiritual growth, I give myself about a 10 for this this month. I have been doing really good in daily Bible reading, daily journaling, um, as far as improving, I'm just going to put that I can be more consistent sharing that because I have a Bible group. It's going to be linked down below where I share devotionals and that kind of stuff. And I'm not super consistent in there. So that is something I can improve on. Now that doesn't affect my like personal spiritual growth. So that's also going to go into like the leadership category, but some, you know, some of your hats are going to overlap and that's okay. Um, business. I give myself about a seven. I was not as consistent with certain things as I should have been. Now I did earn a $5,000 bonus, so pretty excited about that. But that does not reflect necessarily just the stuff I did that month because the way our business works, we put up ads and things, sure. Hi. Hi. 
Hi. <laughs> okay, so we put up free ads on Facebook. And with that, people comment, ask questions. We give them our link. They go and they order. We get paid. A lot of times, I know I'm like this. I don't know if you're like this. You see something, you want it, and then you don't buy it for several weeks. We just, we're very budget conscious. That's what we do as a lot of times it's like moms and wives and stuff. So a lot of the times the, the customers that come in this month are from work I did the last month or two. So that's kind of why I don't give myself a 10 because yes, I earned a bonus. So freaking excited and grateful for that. But I understand that that isn't necessarily reflective of my character just for December. Um, so I can improve by being consistent. We literally have a task list like a freaking chimpanzee could do this. But you have to have the character to actually do it. So take that with what you will. My character wasn't great last month. So this month, I'm going to make sure that that task list gets done. It takes 30 to 60 minutes a day. I just have to sit down and actually do it. So yeah, kind of gives you an idea. The area, rate yourself. I can improve by. And then up here, what are the top three areas you're going to focus on? I can tell you last month, my top three were being a mom because I'll tell you all this quick little story. So my daughter, we homeschool. So we spend a lot of time together, a freaking lot of time. And I love it 99% of the time. But y'all know, y'all know that homeschool, there's that 1% that that little yellow school bus be looking real good when it comes by your neighborhood. So you know, either, either we're friends or y'all are judging me real hard at this point. But having said all of that, um, so she asked me, this was probably middle of October, because remember, I'm evaluating myself for November. Um, middle of October, she asked me, she's like, Mom, can you tell me your schedule for today? Because I always write down my schedule. Um, I can quickly show you a page of what that looks like. I'm not going to walk through how to do it. I do have a scheduling video that I will link below this as well. But literally, there you go. Like, my schedule's written down, times, tasks, everything. So she knows that. I write it out a week at a time. Let me write down to link that below so y'all can actually see it. Link scheduling video. So I told her, she goes, can you schedule in some time to spend with me today? And I'm thinking like, what the heck are you talking about? There's like five hours of school in here. Like we're playing games and we're doing crafts and all of this is for school and all of this is just me and you. And I could have gotten real irritated because my first thought was like, I gave up my career to be a homeschool mom. Like, what do you mean I don't spend time with you? But I was like, so I asked her, I was like, well, what would you like to do? You know what she wants to do? She wants to watch funny YouTube videos with me. So you know what? Last month, I focused on scheduling that in. Scheduling in all of for November, I scheduled in. Um, at night before we go to bed, we do like 15 minutes of funny, clean, age-appropriate YouTube videos. And so that was, one, that was my top thing to focus on, was I want to make sure that she feels loved in a way that she feels loved. Because to her, me sitting and doing crafts and school and games with her is just expected because I'm her teacher. She wants me to take the teacher hat off and spend time with her doing something that has nothing to do with education. And I wasn't understanding that. And I could have very easily just shut her down like, girl, I spend all, the t all day with you. Calm down. But instead, I listened and I was able to improve in that. And I think that I did a really good job with that for November. So I'm going to continue with that. But that was one area I focus on. Nutrition's another area I focus on in November. And I don't know what the other area was. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember. Maybe I didn't do it well. Maybe I did. I don't remember. I think it was being a leader was one thing I focused on. So those are, you're going to, you know, out of all these areas, you rated yourself. You talked about improvement. And then you pick the three that are the most important to you because every single day, guys, we have to prioritize our tasks. I've talked about this before. What's important, you get done. What you schedule at the top of the day, you get done. The end of the day stuff, sometimes it falls off and has to be moved. So you don't want your three top main things always to be scheduled at the bottom of your day. And then, guys, any good teacher is going to give you the sandwich method. You don't just focus on the negative. So a lot of this sometimes can be very hard to really be honest and look at and self-evaluate ourselves. So write down a one, two, three, doesn't matter. Just use these spaces. Write down some things you did well. Brag on yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. You are an awesome human. You did, you know... A lot. I won't say you did your best because probably you didn't do your best every single day. Most of us don't. I can I can say that. I honestly don't do my best every single day. I don't get a hundred percent every single day. But I can tell you certain areas and certain times where I did, and celebrate, you guys. Celebrate that you did something really, really well this month. Give yourself some credit. So, again, this is the freebie. 
you're welcome to contact me and I will send it out to you. I haven't figured out how to like, you know, do a website and all that stuff yet. I probably will one day right now. I just do everything on social media. You guys, I'm just a mom at home with a freaking, you can't see it. So whatever, there's a crock pot behind me that was from yesterday that I haven't washed yet. So I just like to inspire other real moms and show you guys how journaling and having that daily quiet time with God can bring such peace and contentment and just joy into an otherwise kind of messy life because that's what our lives are and then just a really busy season because that's the season we're in. So hope y'all have an awesome rest of your day. Bye. 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 <laughs> and we'll see you in another video.